Welcome everyone to this first round coverage of the G League playoffs here on 2K Sports. In this game, we're going to see Team Ignite going up against the Wisconsin Herd. Joined by Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, this is Blake Suniga. And guys, this has all the makings of an exciting quarterfinals matchup. Absolutely, Blake. I mean, it's such an exciting series. We're excited to be here. Both these teams know the stakes are high. They're ready to give it all they have to keep their championship dreams alive. But this is the postseason, so it takes more than just a big effort. These guys all go into overdrive and play past their regular season potential. Pass to Maxwell. And Maxwell slams it home. That's not as easy as he made it look, guys. You gotta have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those. Yeah, he's got some skills. You know it. I mean, this man can climb the ladder. And the G League team Ignite, one of the newer teams in the league, formed in 2020. And really, the purpose of this team, the main purpose, prepare top talent for the NBA. Here's Foster. From 12 feet out, and it's AI with the rebound. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Yes, up top. Outside Palmer. Mercer. He's guarded by Haynes. Six on the shot clock. The fader. No good off the back of the rim. And beyond the one-year select contracts on Team Ignite, the team is also home to many other G League players. The team is largely full of prospect players. However, there are vets and former college stars as well. But make no mistake, this team is here to showcase the future talent of the team NBA. Ignite. And there's MVP. a foul. That's Hold on to it. Personal foul. That's his first foul. Watch outside. Here's Petrovic. Pass to Foster. There can be no question that every one of these guys on the herd would love to get that call and make their way onto the Bucks roster. I think they wish they could all be that lucky. I mean, we're talking about one of the premier teams in the NBA in the Milwaukee Bucks. So only the very best are going to get the call-up added to the NBA roster. Now here's Maxwell. Pass to Foster. To the middle. Haynes. To the dunk by Haynes. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Dance Squad. One more round of applause for your Here's AI. Pass to Mercer. MP. Mercer with the screen. Down low. Haynes with the steal. Maxwell outside. Petrovic. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Kept alive by Wisconsin. And of course, with the G League playoffs, it's a true do-or-die format. One loss, and you're out. And it's made for some exciting tournaments in the past. Any seed can get hot and go all the way. I mean, you just love the wild nature of the G League playoffs. A slow start, five straight misses out of the gate. Pass to Foster. Maxwell outside. Clock at six. And stolen by MP. And Maxwell with a block. And they're able to recover. AI with it. And Maxwell picks him up defensively. Palmer with it. Four on the clock. Tries to snap the cold streak. Team Ignite again missing. 
Wisconsin in the lead. Three-pointer Petrovich. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Team Ignite's going to take it. Ball. In for your herd, Christian Peterson, Melisada. Substitution for Team Ignite. Here's Lawson. MP outside. Screen by Lawson. Left side, Collins. Back to MP. Pass to Lawson. Five on the clock. Puts it up from 12. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. And there's nothing quite like a playoff atmosphere. Some great fans here in the G League. And no matter the level, no matter the team, fans get hyped for a playoff game. It's great to see this place rocking for a winner-take-all game. Three-pointer Petrovic. No good that time. And it's Team Ignite the other way. To the paint. Here's Lawson. Yeah, you have to uh, uh, appreciate the unselfish attitude of MP, showing he's more than capable of finding open teammates. Here's Petrovic. That shot off. And here's Team Ignite. Outside Palmer. Banked in off the glass. Well, you're just going to have to do more than that if you're looking to stop Edwin Palmer. What a superb job he does of rushing off the contact the in the first quarter. A good close Wisconsin. contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Team Ignite on top, up two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. All right, folks, we're back for the second quarter of this round one matchup. Playoffs. So what have you seen from MP so far in this one? Frankly, he didn't get much to do in the first quarter. And that's not for lack of trying, but he might still be carving out his place on this G League roster. You can certainly tell there's some potential there, especially considering the effort he's given. But he doesn't have much to show for that work ethic yet. Well, of course, many NBA players have come out of the G League, but a fair amount of coaches have gotten their start here as well. And that's a trend we'll continue to see. Teams with vacancies are looking for winners at all levels, G League included. I would bet a handful of the coaches in the league right now find their way to an NBA bench soon. Pass to Sada. Camp here with it. Back to Sada. Six to shoot. No good with the triple. Team Ignite leading. Outside Peterson. Bayless. Now MP. And it's Brooks with the rebound. Well, if the shot's not there for you, you've got to be the guy to recognize that. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not quite sure what his mindset was there, but that was not a good shot. I don't care how you look at it. Here's Sada. And it's good. Through contact, hit the shot, and it'll go to the line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And Team Ignite making a change here. One shot. And Team Ignite being placed as the three seed in the tournament had a great performance overall this year. Well, with this team, you know, things came together as the season unfolded. You could see things start to fall in place for the younger guys. And obviously, it's a very young Two roster. Points. But they could AI. be such a dangerous team in this tournament. He wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him. And on the low block, I thought he might be. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be his comfort zone, but he looked pretty comfortable right there. Outside, Sato. Peterson with the steal. AI outside. Now 
right side, Peterson. MP. Thomas the screen. To the inside. Stolen by Burke. Imp here up top. He's guarded by Peterson. Pass to Burke. Sada. Takes the three. Good on the triple. I really like the fact that he's getting the touches he needs here after not scoring a single point in the first quarter. You knew he wasn't going to stay scoreless forever. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your death squad. One more round of applause for your performers. In for Team Ignite, Connor Mercer, Franklin Diaz. Team Ignite trailing, and a lot of these players are feeling a ton of pressure. You know, not only is it a do-or-die playoff game, but they need to impress these NBA scouts as well. And there is a fine line they have to walk. Do you try and play for the win and only the win? Or do you try to show out a little to get some extra NBA attention? And even though Team Ignite is full of prospects... They can compete with any team. You can't overlook the talent on this team. And that one misses. And Team Ignite, as you said, a very capable group. Made the playoffs in the most recent bubble. Experience matters in the G League. But when you have future NBA stars, it can level things out any year. Team Ignite could go all the way and maybe even win a title. He's off on the second. And on a stage like this, you can get noticed. For someone like MP, there's a lot of marketing to be done with a good performance. Oh, yeah. Marketing. I mean, we're not talking about just the potential with NBA teams. But really, here's the G League. Local businesses, they're going to want to link up with the G League breakout star. Something these players might have in the back of their minds. Here's Mercer. That falls. Nice speed that time from MP. I love watching Connor Mercer anytime he's looking to score inside because that's where he can really do some damage. Just two. And we will be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Welcome back, everyone, to this G League postseason matchup as we're set to get going here in the second half. How do you think MP has been so far? Honestly, we didn't get to see much from him at all. Maybe he's still figuring out his role on this squad, but it would be nice to see him get more involved in the rest of the game. Yeah, he needs to focus on finding ways to help out on every play. Hard to say how much potential he has as a player, but he's not really showing us much. Oh, one thing I love about the team league, it's used as a testing ground for new rules in the NBA and the WNBA. Always interesting to see how they're looking to improve the sport. And a number of rules from the G League have been brought to the NBA. You take a look at the 14 clock reset, coaches challenges. A lot of great ideas were born right here. Inside, it's slammed in by Maxwell. Went for the two-hander on that slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. He might be sensing that this is a critical time in the game, guys. 
Pass to AI. Outside Diaz. Mercer with the screen. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Diaz. Defended by Maxwell. Wisconsin leading. Man, he can't hit that time. Good defense there by Diaz. Outside Palmer. Diaz. Back to Palmer. Come get it, come get it. Mercer with the screen. The crossover. And MP lays it in. MP. Season opening and does not hesitate. That shows you MP's confidence and how prepared he is. And you know, the Herd only just joined the G League in 2017, but they've had a little bit of a bumpy start. Yeah, ups and downs. They had a tough first two seasons, but they're starting to take shape now and become contenders. So they've had assists now on their last three battles. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, but also their movement off the ball has created those opportunities. And Team McKnight making a change here. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Petrovic, right side. That one falls. Only three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. Here's MP. Mercer. Yeah. Even with hurts. the coverage, Mercer powers through. He doesn't allow the interior defense to hold him back. Pass to Burt. Zada. He's guarded by Peterson. Petrovic outside. The three-pointer, no good. Now here's Thomas. MP with it. Here's the three. The rebound by Burke. And for the players on Team Ignite, those that didn't spend any time in college will still receive a full ride to a university. Outside Sada. And there's another one for the herd. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the other squad. Both teams will make substitutions for your performance. Substitution for Wisconsin, Christian Peterson. Substitution for Team Ignite. Team Ignite trailing. And with the scholarships provided from Team Ignite, it's something the G League made sure to add. Yeah, you know, I really like it because it's a chance to go to college if things don't work out in basketball. It makes joining That's Team Ignite for all that much easier and a great job from the partner universities for offering that scholarship. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone now. Here's Lawson. That's good. And it's MP with the dime. You know, the G League's a great path to the NBA for those players who don't want to take the college route. It's a different experience, but the G League lets young players hone their game against top-level talent. You don't get you ready for NBA hoops in a hurry. The D, they sagged off him, and no hesitation on his part to rise up and bury the three. Pass to Bayless. Lawson outside. Four on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. Four for five with that first miss and five attempts from the floor. Outside, Peterson. Petrovic. Brooks with it. Bayless defending. Shot from 16. It's rebounded by Team Ignite. Outside, Peterson. MP on the wing. To the middle. 
Soft touch off the glass. And let the big man eat. Lawson, fantastic watching this guy operate down low. Burke, he's guarded by Peterson. Now Sada. Fires at the elbow. Count that bucket. He's got a really quick trigger from that lane. He senses the finish of that off. And we reach the end of the third. Bird out in front. Up seven. And coming up as soon as we return from the break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And welcome back as we're set to begin the fourth quarter of this G League postseason bout. Guys, what are your thoughts on MP so far? Well, it's been an up and down game for him, and that's putting it nicely. Just hasn't gotten it done tonight. I'm not sure what to make of tonight. We know his talent level, but it's just not translating onto the floor. Substitution for Wisconsin, Chris Burke, Tony Petrovich. In for Team Ignite. Two and a half minutes have passed by now here in the fourth quarter. And it's MP off the drive. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's going to go on Hayes. Attacking full throttle. MP challenging off the dribble. Love watching MP do work. And you look at the way MP has progressed. You can see the potential that looms within him. There is no doubt that at some point he'll be a star. It's only a matter of when. Could be next season, could be five. I mean, it could be a decade, but the star potential is there. First one falls for him. So it's both teams making substitutions here. After making the first, he goes one for two. They really could have used a perfect trip to the line there. Instead, they're still down two possessions. So it's Team Ignite now. A yeah, four-point game. Pass to Mercer. Shot clock at three. Here's AI. Yep, that goes. Nice focus from the big man. I like how AI absorbs whatever the D throws at him and still converts. to Peterson here's Foster now here's Haynes he's guarded by Palmer outside Haynes six to shoot Maxwell no good and he outside to tie it up and in. Athletic play from MP inside, getting around the traffic. He is finding a shot. Petrovic outside. Here's Ames. And that one drops. Tremendous job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump kick. And it opened right up for him.
So it's Team Ignite now. Trailing by two. Lawson, left side. Back to MP. To the inside. Lawson. That falls. Nice speed that time from MP. He did so well to lead his teammate right to the ideal spot. Down low. Out to Petrovic. Back to Haynes. Over Mercer. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Team Ignite going the other way now. To the paint. Yes! Crafty decision by MP. Using the pick and roll to create for another teammate. Maxwell outside. Doesn't go for him. Good defense there by Diaz. And an intentional foul right there. Shooting for a team of men, Franklin Diaz, taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. the first one and that makes it a three-point lead and so he drops them both and it's a four-point ball game outstanding work at the foul line to make this a two-possession game by Palmer and it's Petrovic missing and they this foul intentionally foul. that's what they have to do at this point this is you know personal. they had to foul to Back stop that block that's Edwin really Palmer. the enemy Shooting in this situation two. yeah and who knows a few misses at the stripe and they're right there within range maybe knock down a three or two who knows huh? take a break take a break two shots He gets the first, and that puts them up five. Yo, 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 hold up. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Those foul shots put them that much more in the driver's seat. Haynes with the triple. It's holding by Lawson. And now we've got the intentional foul. Arthur Foster. That's his second personal foul. Shooting for Team Ignite, MP, taking two shots. Huh? Take a break, take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven point lead. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Here's Foster. Cans the three! And Team Ignite is going to call time here. Time out, time out. Two 
Solution for Wisconsin, Maurice Burks, Chris Burke, Melly Sada. Substitution for Team Ignite. And so That's Team Ignite the are the winners, and they're going to be advancing to the next round. 50. What a game. Ignite. You know how amazing 54. they must feel after coming away with that one. And they really worked hard for the win. They won this game because they stuck together and played for each other. And when you have that mindset, you're going to be successful. And give a lot of credit to the coaching staff for having a game plan and having these guys execute it. That's a testament to how much these guys respect them and want to play well for them. And that'll do it for this postseason broadcast of G League Basketball. We'll see you next time as the playoffs roll on. Until then, on behalf of Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, wishing you all a very good night. How you feeling, bro? You tight? You know, you look a little tight. Bro, are you trying to get on my nerves? I'm just saying that you look tight. Golly. Look, I, I get it. All right, you are in the middle of one of the most important stretches of basketball of your life. I mean, you mess this up, you can cost yourself a Hey, yo, you like to get your kicked out of my apartment. You out of pocket, Rick. How am I being out of pocket, bro? I'm just saying you look tight. All right, you know, I'm messing with you, but you obviously Rick, mad. Rick, stop talking to me, bro. All right. All right, look, in all seriousness, all jokes aside, if you need to stay occupied, I got a couple interview opportunities for you. I mean, it could be a nice diversion. Who would? Andrew Torres and Candace Green. Now, with your schedule, you only got time for one of them, but both are great opportunities to up your profile. I'll think about it. Okay, so what, what Candace want to talk about? You know. Basketball stuff. I mean, I'm sure she want to get into the X's and O's with you. Yeah, she one of the only few writers that know the game at that level. It's a good option if you want to boost your rep for basketball IQ. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, what tours want to talk about? How you got in the music? Like piano and stuff? You say whatever you want. 21 Savage convinced the whole world he was American. Oh, so you want me to lie? It's called creative license. I mean, Rick Ross was a prison guard. You heard him rap. Good point. <laughs> I'm saying. Just don't be afraid to have some fun with it. Yeah, I. Okay. Hey, man, good looking out. And my bad for spazzing on you. I just, I'm stressed right now. These games are huge. That's all good. No, I don't think I've seen you like this since you were bugging out about asking Jamika Woods to prom. I mean, you were stressed then. Yo, Jamika Woods would have gotten you stressed too. Don't even front. Yeah, you're not wrong. Look, man, I appreciate you admitting that, okay? Anytime, G.